Hey guys, it's Chris. From enormous rodents to bugs and even slugs, join me as I tell you about 10 of some of the biggest animals of their kind. Number 10, Capybara. Hearing that there's a massive rodent in the world today probably doesn't fill you with much joy. However, in the case of the Capybara, this is the exception to the rule. The capybara is indeed the largest rodent in the world, but they are cute and they don't look like scary pests. They're so big that they can weigh up to 170 pounds, which is about the average weight of an adult human. So hopefully that doesn't make you too nervous. Though to be fair, it does depend on gender, and this is the upper edge of the scale. In terms of height, they get up to two feet tall at the shoulder. Native to Northern and Central America in humid and watery areas, a small population has actually been spotted in Florida. What might make you surprised though is that the capybara are quite social animals. In fact, they usually like to be in groups of about 10 of their kind, with it being led by one male and the others following its lead. Though it should be noted that when they were first discovered, it was believed that they were a kind of pig, so they are sometimes called water hogs, which clearly they weren't and thankfully that was fixed later on. They love water and need to stay moist constantly, otherwise their skin will dry out. Here's another thing you wouldn't expect from this large rodent. Though they are rather large, they're able to make good pets, including being able to be trained to do various tasks. Though it is stated that to keep the capybara happy, you might need to get it a friend to play with in the form of another capybara. Again, social animals. Though a small caution, not all places in the world, including several places in the United States, don't want capybaras on their lands. So in some cases, you'll need a license to own one. Number 9. Japanese Spider Crab Crabs are creatures that are found on beaches and in the waters all over the world. And some of them can get very, very large, like with the coconut crab. However, the Japanese spider crab is by and large the biggest crab on the face of the earth. And the biggest reason for this is their legs. They're massive in length, and when measured, reach 15 feet long end to end. That's five times longer than the coconut crab, which is at most three feet long. One of the reasons that this crab isn't fully known about all over the world is that unlike many of its crab brethren, they live in sometimes really deep waters and don't show up on the shore. Plus, they only live in the waters just off of Japan, hence their name. In fact, it almost always causes a scene when they're caught, one of which was in 2009, and the crab was deemed Crabzilla because of its size. They prefer to live in waters between 50 and 600 feet deep, which is an impressive range. Also, in regard to its age, they can live up to 100 years, probably the longest lifespan of any crab. So this crab is big, it can live a really long time, and it's found in the deeper side of the ocean. That's quite a set of feats. Number 8. Goliath Frog Frogs are known at times to get big, and people look at things like the bullfrog and think it's as big as they get. But they'd be wrong, because in West Africa you can find the Goliath Frog and it lives up to its name. This frog can grow up to one foot in length, and technically it's bigger, but that's just measuring the body, not the legs. Plus, the mass of this frog is rather impressive. They can weigh over seven pounds. They eat just about anything they can find in the water, such as fish, insects, crustaceans, and one scientist even found a bat inside one. Just as impressive as its size is how it uses that size. The goliath frog lives in rivers, ones with incredibly fast currents. They're able to swim in them via their giant webbed feet, and their size allows them to withstand the waters they're in, proving that this is an adaption made through evolution evolution and why their size is so large. Because if they were smaller, the waters would literally wash them away. In fact, goliath frogs can jump almost 10 feet forward. And you'd probably think this frog would be super loud too, but they're actually mute. And now for number 7, but first, what's the largest animal you've ever encountered? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 7. Ostrich The ostrich is officially the largest bird on Earth in terms of body size and height, which might surprise some for various reasons, not the least of which is that they can't fly. There are birds that are larger by wingspan, but in terms of pure height and mass, that belongs to the ostrich. Plus, though flying isn't an option for them, they can run, and they can run really very, very fast. 
In fact, they're actually the fastest two-legged animal in the world. And because of their body type and long legs, they can run up to a maximum speed of about 60.6 miles per hour. They're also the fastest bird on land and the fastest two-legged animal in the world. Adding to their largeness is their eggs. They can lay the biggest eggs in the world, which can be three pounds in weight when all is said and done. Not so ironically, lots of people like to eat these eggs because of the massive amounts of food that can be made from their yolks and contents. One ostrich egg is about 24 normal chicken eggs. Ostriches have been measured many times over, and they can be over 9 feet tall at their peak, which means that the tallest ostrich is taller than the largest human ever recorded, which was 8 foot 11 inches for the record. These big birds have a very powerful kick, so be very, very careful around them. Number 6. Queen Alexandria's Birdwing Butterflies are beautiful creatures that people like to not just observe, but also collect mainly because they're small creatures that can't be easily obtained. But when it comes to the Queen Alexandria birdwing, you'll find something very different, because this is the largest butterfly in the world due to its one-foot wingspan. This species is rare, to be clear, and it only lives in Papua New Guinea. Further adding to its rarity, it is considered an endangered species. Thus, many are trying to protect its numbers. Curiously, the females of this species are the ones that reach that mythical one-foot wingspan, while the males can be around eight inches in terms of wingspan at the max. The Queen Alexandria's bird wing was discovered back in 1906 by Albert Stuart Meek, who was assigned to go and find specimens in Papua New Guinea and bring them back to his employer, Walter Rothschild. As for the butterfly's name, it was given to the species in honor of Alexandria of Denmark. Number 5. Whale Shark There are multiple things about the whale shark that most would find rather ironic. First, many people forget that sharks are indeed fish. But second, most people picture the mighty great white shark as the true king of the sharks. And while that may be true in terms of aggressiveness, when it comes to size, the whale shark has it beat. Because while the great white shark can be well over 20 plus feet at times, though measurements haven't always been from reliable sources, the longest whale shark that has ever been measured was, get this, 62 feet long, more than double the great white. The other truly special and yes, kind of ironic thing about the whale shark is that despite its massive size, it's not an aggressive shark in the least. Rather, it's a filter feeder, meaning it'll go after things like plankton in order to be fed. So much so that it'll just open its massive mouth and swim through the ocean so that it can collect whatever gets caught by its massive jowls. They pose absolutely no threat to humans and have been known to go and swim with them from time to time. Plus, they live very long lives. Some estimates have them living up to 130 years. So not only is this a long fish, it's a long-lasting one too. Number 4. Red Kangaroo When you think about Australia, your minds naturally go to not just the iconic landmarks, but also the many wonderful creatures that call the area home. One of the most famous and beloved of the bunch is the kangaroo. But even in that group of creatures, there is one that stands above the others, the red kangaroo. It's not only the largest kangaroo, but also the largest marsupial in the world that is still alive today. There were some extinct ones that used to be truly massive, but they died out tens of thousands of years ago. Now, as for the red kangaroo's measurements, that's eh, a bit tricky, because there are a few ways to measure them. The obvious way is pure height from head to foot to which they would be about 5 feet 2 inches tall. However, their tail adds about 4 feet to that length. So like I said, it's a little tricky. However, the largest one ever recorded was an astounding 6 feet 9 inches tall, which is the height of several major basketball players in the NBA today, and towering over many others. Though curiously, the females of the species are noted to be much smaller than the males. Number 3. Shire The Shire horse is a species of horse that was built and bred for work plain and simple. These horses were made so that farmers could put them into labor situations that they would have a hard time doing themselves, including plowing the fields, pushing carts, and more. And it should be noted that they had great success with the Shire, as it's documented as being one of the biggest and strongest horses in the world and its history, even holding records for its height and weight at times. Just their average height can have them over five and a half feet tall, which immediately puts them on par with your average human's height. They were so good at their jobs that they were eventually bred to be sold to others all over the world. However, in terms of the modern day, the Shire horse is not used as much because machines do its job rather well. And due to this, they're now an endangered breed. 
but people are trying to save the breed and many consider the Shire to be the perfect horse for beginning riders, thus ensuring their importance and need for numbers. Number 2. Reticulated Python Snakes are sometimes tricky to measure, mainly because they don't want to be measured given what it would entail. Thus, there are various snakes that hold titles of longest or largest or biggest snake. However, both in terms of average size and recorded size, that distinction of biggest snake goes to the reticulated python. On average, the reticulated python is known to grow to lengths between 19 and 21 feet depending on their location. However, many individuals of the species have been recorded to go far beyond that. For example, in Indonesia in 1912, a 33-foot reticulated python was found on an island, and this one was officially measured. And a reticulated python was also recorded to be the largest snake ever kept in captivity with a length of 25 feet. There was even a it was this big tale told about one reticulated python in India, where it was said to be 49 feet until it was actually measured and noted as being just 21, which is further proof on why you should only trust the official measurements. Number 1. Black Sea Hare Slugs are like many creatures in regard to their size, meaning that you can expect them all to be small, but in fact, some can be very large. The largest slug in the world is in fact the Black Sea Hare which is so large it can reach up to 3 feet long, and get this, it can weigh 30 pounds, yikes! All the while only eating things like kelp and seaweed as it goes through the ocean. Plus, the Black Sea Hare doesn't look like a regular slug. Rather, it's one that has an inner shell that is surrounded by flaps that allow it to swim with relative ease. So if you were to look at it swimming, you probably wouldn't be able to tell it was a slug. The other curious thing about this slug is that they're known to not just swim near the shore, but also go inland at times, and have been seen in junkyards and more. Thanks for watching! What did you think of these huge animals? Which one surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time on the channel.